It's time for Let's Chat with Rustic, a podcast dedicated to helping entrepreneurs just like you. When starting out, entrepreneurs often feel they need to go it alone, and I'm here to tell you that's just not the case. Entrepreneurs have a lot of questions, and this podcast will give you the answers. My name is Nick Russell, and this is Let's Chat with Rustic. And welcome back to another episode of Let's Chat with Russ Tech. My name is Nick Russell, and today I want to talk about being more productive on mobile. Now, it's no secret, as entrepreneurs, we wear so many different hats. There's running the day-to-day business side of things, all the admin stuff. There's actually working to grow your business, helping your customers and your clients. There's just so much going on. So we need to find ways to be more productive and kind of use that old saying, work smarter and not harder. And that's kind of where the smartphone comes in, right? Now, it's no secret. If you're watching this on YouTube, you can clearly see the two Blackberries that I have hanging in the office. Um, the, the very first Blackberry that I ever owned was this bold 9900. Um, and the reason I put that in a shadow box, and for one, it was my first BlackBerry, and there's no secret that I love the brand and the devices. But this was a, a gentleman, a friend of mine, who was another BlackBerry lover, um, who lives a few hours away from me. That was actually his idea. He did that for his phone. And unfortunately, he passed uh, tragically three years. Actually, it was three years ago, a couple of days ago, I think. Um, so it's kind of fitting that I'm talking about BlackBerry and the mobile uh, mobile devices in how we use them at work. But that's why I put that up. It's, that's kind of an honor of him as well as my first BlackBerry. And then this was a curve that I have hanging in the wall as well because it's a really cool red curve. I love the color. And I mean, my mic and everything else I use is red. So, but that's besides the point. Now, I've used BlackBerry for so many years and I made a post on my personal page talking about the last 11 years. And unfortunately my key two that I've been using for the last little bit, it died on me. Um, So, and unfortunately with TCL moving out of the BlackBerry phones and a new company onward mobility, uh, we're waiting for them to release the new 5G BlackBerry with this dying, I needed something quick. Now, don't get me wrong. I love the BlackBerry. I love how easy it was to use to multitask and so many things. Now, even though this was Android, it wasn't exactly the best when it connected with a lot of the Google services. And that's what I use a lot of. I'm, I use Google Drive for both, both personal and my business. And the reason I use Google Drive is if I'm using my, my main PC, which is on here, uh, everything's there. I have all my files. They're both saved on the computer as well as synced up with the cloud. But that also gives me the ability, if I want to go out and work remotely, I can take my, well, this is a Samsung Galaxy S20. So I could take this and work, get all my files. The same thing goes for my tablet or even if I have my laptop and I'm working in a coffee shop or working in a brewery or somewhere that I love to work, I have everything, all my settings, everything's exactly the same from my Chrome browser to Google Drive, it's all there. Everything is just as seamless in the way I work. And even if I want to give work away, I can share a folder with uh, somebody that's doing work for me and they can do that no problem and all the files are saved amongst all my devices. Now, the other cool thing, and again, I love my BlackBerry. The, the way it connect, it wouldn't really connect with my tablet or my PC the way I wanted it to. And the really cool thing about having the Samsung now is it actually works very well with Windows and the MyPhone app. So I can actually have my text messages here and Although I do block out a lot of my time, um, if I need to respond to something really quick, 
I can see the no notification. If it's something urgent, I can just pull it up, type quick and go about my business as opposed to actually grabbing my phone, taking that, sending the text message. And if I see other notifications, I may get caught and go down that rabbit hole of going through TikTok or Instagram or whatever the case may be. Having that on the, the computer here helps keep me completely, completely focused. Now, that also worked well too with the Google Calendar. Now, the Google Calendar, I, I usually keep up on my second monitor here. Um, and having that, I can see all the time I have blocked out in one of the calendars. I have multiple calendars in Google Calendar. And one of them is it shows me the times that are blocked out. Now that doesn't work. That doesn't go and stop anybody from blocking meetings and the times that I have. So I can just readjust that. But I have that calendar up there. But the cool thing about that is, again, that I can access, access that on my laptop, on my phone, and on my tablet all at the same time. Everything works completely seam seamlessly. Um, so really, that's all I wanted to talk about. I wanted to talk about the way we integrate. Now, I'm not an Apple user, and I will say I'm going to get a lot of flack for saying this because everybody knows that I am not an Apple fan at all. And I trip all my fans that have Apple products. But I will say this, the ecosystem that Apple has set up is far more advanced than what Android has. Now, Android is really making strides and working seamlessly between all your products. Now, luckily for me, my earbuds, my phone, and my tablet are all Samsung products. They're all on the Galaxy line. So they really integrate very well together. But having a Windows PC, they do integrate with Chrome and with the, my, with the My Phone or Phone app in Windows, but it's still not as perfect as what Apple is. So for all the Apple fans out there that are listening to this podcast, yes, I'm giving you a little credit. And Apple is far better, far superior in that area. And we'll leave it at that. Because I'm going to just get all kinds of flack for that statement there. But having a system and having devices that work together for you and your business is absolutely key. Because we all know we're not at the desk 24 hours a day, seven days a week. We're out and about. And if something happens, you want to be able to grab your phone, pull up a file, send a file. You want to be able to take a picture, scan something, make a document out of a picture. And we can do that with our phones now and send them off. And that's where Google Drive comes in. For me, it saves everything in a one spot, nice and easy, and it all works together. So really, that's all I wanted to talk about. Just a quick little overview of a couple of the tools here that I use to really work seamlessly together and be a lot more productive in what I do day to day. Now, as always, we've been talking about the last couple of weeks, I do have a whole list of other tools that I've been using. So if you head to rustechmedia.com, or sorry, info.rustechmedia.com slash tools, that's all there for you to download for absolutely free, a whole list of the tools I use and how I use them, as well as I want to, I want to know how you use your devices, whether it be Android or Apple, in what works well for you. Do you not use Google Drive? Do you use iCloud? Are you using Dropbox? Does that work for you? Because I know I've tried Dropbox and it just wasn't exactly what I needed. But maybe they've upgraded it. There's something I don't know. And it might work a little bit better for me now. So I invite you to head to Facebook, our Facebook page, facebook.com slash West Tech Media. And let's have a conversation. And I want to know what you're using and how you use your devices to make your business work a lot better and be a lot more productive in your day-to-day -day work. So that's all we had for you today. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you got a little bit out of this and I can't wait to chat with you again next week. Hey everybody, hold up just one quick second. Now, as entrepreneurs, a lot of us struggle to find the right tools and the right resources that fit our business and help us grow. 
Now, over the past four years, I've tried so many different tools, so many different resources and ways to grow my business. And it wasn't until just recently in the last year that I found a really good system of tools that have helped me grow continually month after month after month. And I don't want you to take to go through that same pain and same process that I went through. So that's why I have this resource guide for you absolutely free. So if you head to info.rustechmedia.com slash tools, this resource guide is yours completely free. All you have to do is put your email in and I will send you the resource guide right away. So again, if you head to info.rustechmedia.com slash tools, that resource guide is all yours.